In the next few years, I expect the digital transformation of life to bring huge changes. Everything from science to healthcare to sensors to robotics. Whether it's information technology and the acceleration we see in artificial intelligence, you just look across the board and you can see a lot is happening. It's really the notion of digital technology pervasively impacting every walk of life in every vertical industry on all parts of the globe. So speed is mind-boggling. What I'm particularly concerned about, it is how little the world is prepared for the fourth industrial revolution. If we are not innovative, if we're not creative enough, it will be very difficult to survive in this century. Countries in emerging markets should take the lead. Mobile platforms will define how fast the fourth industrial revolution will be embraced by the country. It's very difficult to try to bridge the gap between a borderless industrial revolution that's being governed by different policies and regulations in each territory and country. We're always looking for new technology and how it makes the process more efficient, how it makes the quality higher. But one of the things that it's really creating is a need for those that have a technical background. 52% of the encounters with our primary care physicians were handled virtually. Just a massive change. The technologies available today to scientists, to clinicians, and to everyday people will impact and change healthcare forever. Humans and machines are assisting each other, augmenting each other with skills. Humanity itself will be changed with this super intelligence, and we are at the doorstep of that era. World Economic Forum is in the best position to meet a lot of these challenges that Fourth Industrial Revolution is going to bring. The opening of the San Francisco Center for the Fourth Industrial Revolution really provides a useful platform to bring together the smartest brains who are right at the leading edge of this technology. I deeply believe in this idea of cross-fertilization. Good ideas come less from inside brilliant people's heads and more from seeing patterns. We have to think about things quite a bit differently. That's why I'm so excited about what's happening right here in San Francisco, to be able to have a multi-stakeholder dialogue around the Fourth Industrial Revolution. My hope is that we have a robust discussion for how this can truly help our world solve some of the hard-pressed challenges that we have today. The world has changed. We can never, ever go back to yesterday.